exactly how effective is the United Nations? The United Nations emerged after World War II with the objective of achieving a global balance of peace between world powers. Today, they have 193 member states, and they have roughly 100,000 soldiers, or Blue Berets, operating 16 separate peacekeeping missions around the globe. That's about equal to the active manpower of Canada. They also have numerous government branches like the World Health Organization and the International Court of Justice to further focus peacekeeping efforts. But even with so many assets, they have been criticized at times for inefficiency and ineffectiveness. Specific instances that haunt the UN are conflicts during the 1990s in Rwanda, Somalia, and the former Yugoslavia. The peacekeeping forces that were sent there were too small to cope with the violence. As a result, many people were killed. These incidents forced the United Nations to reassess their resources and methods of handling ongoing wars. I think it's uh, very clear, you know, that uh, in uh, the most uh, difficult missions that we face right now, in South Sudan, in the Congo, in Mali, in Central African Republic, these are evidently situations where we have to act. Long are gone the days of uh, just monitoring ceasefires. Now we are working in uh, crisis settings, you know. Now it's time to do more. Peacekeeping, au sens strict, veut dire garder la paix. Notre problème ici pour la MINUSMA au Mali, c'est que nous n'avons pas réellement de paix. Il faut donc essayer de la construire, de la trouver, de la consolider quand elle existe et qu'elle est fragile. Et il faut parfois arriver à l'imposer la paix quand les acteurs ne le veulent pas. When we, we have a conflict between two countries, and here sometimes we have problems along the border, and then we need to be very impartial. But when we have a problem of arming the groups, uh, creating problems to the people, uh, burning houses, uh, killing the civilians, and then we need to be overwhelming. There is a changing nature of the conflict, asymmetric nature of conflict. We are not only doing peace and security, we're doing protection of civilians, we're doing disarmament, we're doing uh, reintegration, we're doing demobilization, we're doing supporting humanitarian uh, operations, assistance operations, we're doing here regional arrangements supporting them.